EVA-95 will begin at the Quest airlock. EV-1, noted by red stripes, will egress, followed by EV-2. Plan tasks include a planar reflector removal and replacement, external high-definition camera replacement, radiator retorque, and multiple thermal and power jumper tasks. The crew members will be at separate work sites for the start of the EVA, but will end up together for the tasks near the end. EV-1 will translate to the robotic arm to set up for the camera port 3, external high-definition camera removal and replacement. This task will enable high-definition views from the camera port 3 location after the completion of the task. Meanwhile, EV-2 will begin translating to the node 2 forward port for the planar reflector removal and replacement. This is the highest priority task for EVA-95. After arriving at the Node 2 forward port, EV-2 will set up his equipment or her equipment and take photos of the area. EV-2 will then remove the existing planar reflector and install the new one. This task is similar to what NASA astronaut Sonny Williams performed on US EVA-91 at the Node 2 Zenith port. The reflector is held in place with three bolts. With the new planar reflector installed, EV-2 cleans up the Node 2 Ford port work site and heads back toward the airlock. Back over to EV-1, our crew member is now at camera port 3 work site and is setting up equipment. EV-1 will be removing the camera port 3 external high-definition camera and replacing it with a new unit. With the camera replacement complete, EV-1 returns to the airlock to stow the old camera. EV-1 then translates to the robotic arm to head to the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer worksite. Back over to EV-2, EV-2 is retrieving the early ammonia servicer jumper from the Zenith airlock and translating to the S6 worksite. On the way to the early ammonia servicer jumper worksite, EV-2 installs a gap spanner at S6. EV-2 then performs the early ammonia servicer jumper task. And back over to EV-1, who's on the robotic arm, maneuvering to the alpha magnetic spectrometer. EV-1 is retorquing 46 bolts on the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer Wake Radiator. At the completion of the radiator task, EV-1 is maneuvered away from the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer to perform robotic arm cleanup before meeting EV-2 on the starboard truss for upcoming thermal and power jumper tasks. Back to EV-2, with the early ammonia servicer jumper task complete, EV-2 moves along to perform the S6 
DC to DC converter unit jumper install. This task will increase primary power system fault tolerance. And with EV1, EV1 is now translating outboard to the S5-S6 truss. EV1 is now at the S5-S6 truss location, performing the installation of the S5-S6 photovoltaic thermal control system jumper relocate. And similarly, EV2 is now at the S4-S5 location, performing the installation of the S4-S5 photovoltaic thermal control system jumper relocate. These jumper relocations are in preparation for a future EVA task to perform a refill of the photovoltaic thermal control system, one Bravo radiator. EV1 then heads for the last planned task, the S4 DC to DC converter unit jumper install. Similar to EV2's S6 power jumper install, this task at S4 will increase the primary power system fault tolerance. With the planned tasks complete, EV1 and EV2 now translate back to the Quest airlock for a successful completion of EVA 95. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.